What was the sequence of events that, uh, that got you into the, uh, into the Navy and into jets? Well, I think, you know, the starting point, and I'll be dating myself now, but there's probably enough people in the audience who this may resonate as well to say the starting point was really crazy enough with watching Top Gun when I was a kid. I can actually remember thinking, that's that looks great. That looks awesome. And, you know, watching it a few more times and thinking, no, oh, this is what I want to try to do. Um, you know, I interestingly, you know, at the time, they didn't allow women to fly in combat. Uh, and this was, you know, when the, the movie came out was it late 80s, early 90s. It wasn't until the mid 90s that women were allowed to be combat aviators um, in the U.S. Navy. Um, I didn't even realize that. But I thought I saw something that was cool that aligned with my adventuresome side and my you know love of you know space and science and math and other things too great um but, and then it became a conversation you know internally and with those around me but like well what does that look like um i happened to pursue rotc in college so that means while i was at harvard i was also doing officer training in the summers or during the school year and it meant that when i graduated i matriculated i commissioned right into the u.s navy and then it was, you know, the standard, the training that you they, you get in the military to prepare you to fly, you know, stationed with a squadron on the West Coast, flying jets for the U.S. Navy off of aircraft carriers, you know, really exciting stuff. Um, it was my living of the dream. It also provided me incredible leadership lessons in terms of how to, you know, lead with small teams, big teams, you know, in moments of true physical risk, um, emotional risk. Um, under lots of pressure and then find ways to move teams forward to a, to a common goal. Um, so I think it both satisfied that, you know, dream I had as a kid and also helped me realize a new dream of how to be a better leader, how to sort of manage teams at different moments. Um, but that's sort of like the, the basic story of how it all played out. Um, there's probably more details, including how I then transitioned from the Navy into other things.